Good afternoon, YouTube fans. Welcome to the Whiplash Hell Channel. Uh, today we got another Seven Days to Die Phoenix Mod, episode number six and a half. Uh, we ain't gonna be doing nothing but uh, upgrading tonight. This is the nightlife, and this is what we do on the nightlife episode. So you're welcome to watch. We're not entirely up to you. Oh, wait a minute. I was over here. How'd you end up there? I guess what I ought to do is, uh, Go ahead and knock out the rest of that wall back yonder. I think I accidentally stuck one too far back, but that's okay. It didn't kill. Okay, okay, quit going spastic on me here. Let's see. Yeah, we can hear them zombies upstairs. Let's see if they get in tonight. You know, so far my little plans worked, you know. I'm surprised. I figured they might get in at least once. Let's uh switch to the wrench. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Alright. Let's uh Oh, we need our shovel. Let's put the sniper rifle up. I really like finishes tonight, folks. This is really it's our last chance to finish it. If not, we'll finish it in the daytime. Because like I said, my life just will not be complete unless I do it. Go ahead and put in this wall. Yeah, I hear you up there, fatty. Dang, I forget. I'm not supposed to be saying that. Edgar. I'm just guessing it's Edgar. It sounds like Edgar. La 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 in the zombie apocalypse. Um, that settlers mod, I can't even remember if, that, remember if that's the exact name of it or not, but uh, I think I'm gonna try it out tonight. Uh, my grandbaby's supposed to come over again tonight, and uh, sometime while they're goofing off and playing. Xbox games and stuff. Uh, oh, Papa might try that Settlers mod out and see how it works on my system. If it works out okay, then I think that's going to be our next our next mod that we try. Oops. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to have enough wood to finish this, to be honest with you. I definitely went too far in. Go ahead and upgrade these. How much wood we got? 
Oh, we still got 1,300. That's not too bad. Not sure we got enough wood frames to finish it. Let's go ahead and lay. See how many we got left. Let's repair our pickaxe. Oh. That settler mod, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. I just I just wanted to play around with it, see what we, I could do with it. It uh let's see what's his name? Game Edge and um Game Edged and I think Cage eight forty eight, they both got a couple series going on uh that I've been watching. It I don't know. I'm kind of. I'm not really into the whole settlers. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. See, oops, try it. See what it looks like. See what it acts like, and go from there. See what happens. Not even sure. If Back of my system will play it. Looks like it's got a heavy load on everything from the way people talk. But we'll find out. I'll probably play a little bit of it tonight as a test run. Because tomorrow Tomorrow will probably be the end of Phoenix Mod. Like I said, I honestly don't know if I'd finish it. I only want to finish it because I want to see what the Horde Knight's going to look like. That's the only reason. Oops. Oh, well, it sounds like we're gaining the crowd out yonder. I think we'll have enough to do the ceiling. We'd have to make a bunch more, but I'd rather upgrade everything first. This will be a badass little uh, base. I personally think it works. You know, I've not been in one long enough to know because I just started doing this kind of thing. I used to make my base underground all the time and I stopped doing it because I wanted to experience having uh, um, the screamers showing up when you're running your forge. But on mods like this, oh crap, on mods like this, don't think it's going to happen. I don't, I'm not good enough, I guess. That's what it boils down to. These guys I watch, man, they're like experts <laughs> compared to me. what we got now we still got a thousand surprised obviously we won't that time we get done but. so it's taken me a week to do this pretty much I 
I've been trying to think of, of a, some kind of defensive measure I could put up. Down here at the bottom of the base. And the only thing I can think of is to take, let's turn this light, well we can't turn the light, alright. Take and square this off, make it concrete around this edge, and then put in a vault door or vault hatch right there. Just in case they uh, got in. You know, I don't deny that they can get in. I mean, the possibility is there. But I've noticed one thing about playing this game. is If you give the zombies free roam, unless you absolutely have to... I can nab it. Box something in, give them as much room as possible, and they won't they won't get into your base. Don't like using spikes. I know in my Undead Legacy mod I used spikes, placed them upside down so I could fight them or on horde nights they would be getting damaged while they're I'm fighting them. That's the only reason why I did it. I don't like using spikes. I think spikes take too much resources up. I mean, because it's constant, non-stop repairs. I mean, every day repairs. I started getting out of it after Horde Night. There we go. We're good. I started getting after after Horde Night. I would fix up my spikes. And then the next day, I'd get another Horde. And they'd screw them all up. And every day, it was like this. Every freaking day. Some worse than others, some, oh crap, some not at all. I'm sitting here wasting all this wood. And, uh, see we only got 17, that's how much wood we got, 733, so, I wonder if we made, uh, like 50 more of these. That brings us down quite a bit. There's many things you gotta think about when you lay spikes down because if you place them like we did on Undead Legacy, they uh, when they hit them, they hit the spikes. They uh, their legs break, so they immediately hit the ground. So then they start digging, you know. think we're gonna have enough we're gonna need a bunch more of these I usually don't count I just fill it in and kind of guess because like I've said before most likely unless you're just hurting really bad on resources you're gonna use them anyway eventually let's make uh yeah, let's make 50 more this will probably at least use half of them. And uh, we'll worry about upgrades tomorrow. We might, we'll have to maybe first thing in the morning go get some wood. Just a bunch of wood and we'll finish upgrading these. Just so we can call it a day. Call it say, hey, we finished it. I like that idea. It ain't much, but this could be a happy home. Let's see what we got here. 521, it'd probably take all of it. See, it only left us with 29 frames left. I can make more wood, because I have more wood, but it's locked behind a class. Apparently I'm too stupid to figure that out. Let's look at that real quick. We have a bunch of wood logs, we just can't make uh, wood out of it. 
Uh, let's see, like, see this? Recipes. Look at this. We can make charcoal out of it, but it's locked behind a class. We can make turpentine oil, but it's locked behind a chem station. We can make wood, but it's locked behind a perk as well. We can make spikes, but it's locked behind a perk. And I have no way of telling. See, it doesn't say. Log spikes, traps can damage, cripple, and even kill enemies and last longer than spike traps. Place them using the secondary action, upgradable. Okay, but this tells me it's locked behind a class paper. Or note paper. I think that's what they call them. Note, note. I don't know what they're called then. Note, class. Yeah, class paper. Okay. See, what would that be under? What do you think? Armor? Nah. It's craftable. Athlete, bash, builder, builder. See, there's some that don't need them. But I think, like I said, where's those papers at? Right here. See, recipes. See? Well, what happened to all the ones that didn't have that? Let's, let's, hang on. Might be getting somewhere. I can't craft it. You don't have the necessary resources to craft this item. So you, what do you need? Like a blank note? I mean, because I have a note fragments. Collect enough of them and you will be able to craft another class paper. Okay. Now see, this says I need a thousand to do that. But what about the ones that aren't marked? See, it doesn't show that. Scientist, shotgun, rifle, researcher, ranger, plunderer. Ahoy, my heart, my hearties. You seem to have a knack for finding better quality stuff in most places, and you delve. You're a master looter, and the class gives you a higher quality loot. Slash trader researcher's desk. 100 researcher's desk. Furniture. Can make your place look pretty, but it usually has little defensive value. So I gotta be, uh, what's that? I have to do that at the workstation. See, I can't even make the freaking workstation. A workbench, whatever you want to call it. Ten points. I've met all the requirements. But I can't buy it. Requirements for the skill have not been met. So that follows underneath the class too. Everything is locked behind a class. And you have to have a thousand paper, papers to make a class. Now I don't understand. Like this. These are all locked behind a class. But when you do this. You got two of the same thing. It says it's craftable. But I can't craft it. I need one of these. Oh, I think after you read it, this, it crafts into this. That's what it is. And then you have to open it up. Okay, I think I get that part. But I mean, how the hell are you going to find a freaking thousand papers? Look at that. Thousand of these. I know I've been at it. I haven't looted as much as probably a lot of people, but. Um, it's just, it's nuts, folks. It really is. I just, I don't see how, I don't know. I guess I could try this. I'm not saying I'm going to do this because I'm a little frustrated at the mod. But maybe one day I will uh, try the mod again. Except this time, I'll do the I'll do my own suggestions. I'll pick classes that are roundabout, not too much directly with building and stuff. I think that's what hurt me the most. And then uh, 
I'll take the zombies and I'll just start out at the bottom. Like, instead of being nomad, which is the default, I think I'll just put it down to scavenger and see how bad the zombies are. Believe it or not, that's how I started playing. I couldn't handle the default when I first started playing this game. I had to put it down to the lowest level, and even that was too much for me. But I've got better. You know, and I guess if I kept this up, maybe I would probably get better. I just frustrated at the mod. And I believe Ravenhurst, War of the Walkers, Valmod, and all them, I believe they're the same way. Uh, I've only played them a little bit just to, you know, get a feel of it, see how they was. I like Valmod. It didn't seem so pressing with the zombies. I think it was Valmod that I, I like. All right, folks, there she blows. We are done. This is our crafting room. Well, we're not done, really. We would need to box this in. I don't know if we can get away with doing this without waking the zombies up. You know? Oh, that's freaking concrete or the asphalt that gun it hello that's a big chunk Probably should have just left that there. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I really need to put one back there. Shovel. I don't think we'll be able to get that. Not without busting something out. I'm surprised the zombies aren't started yet haven't started yelling at us. Smacking at the, smacking at the uh, wood or the, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, it's almost daybreak. I think we'll sit here and finish this on the daytime. I probably won't do that now. I'll probably do that at a, later tonight or something. See if we can get one in that corner. I don't think we can. Let's go ahead and finish this. This right on top here. And then we'll end the episode. Probably finish this uh, on the daytime episode. So, oops, I still got one more to go. Right there. Really surprised the zombies haven't showed up. Really, really, really surprised. Being this close, it seems like they'd be able to hear me. You know? There we 
we go. We will finish the rest of this on the daytime episode, folks. There they are. Alright, folks. Yeah, they're smacking on it. Alright, folks. I want to thank everyone for watching me. If y'all enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Everybody have a beautiful day and a happy holidays.